Hey everybody, it's Diamond Grandma coming to you today with a completion of one bigger canvas that I had done. It was a 45 by 35 that came from DP Clubs and uh, I got through with it yesterday. So, I'm posting it and it turned out great. Y'all look at this. This is the uh, Sea Life one that I got from DP Clubs. It, like I say, was a 45 by 35. I didn't have any issues with it at all. It was full of confetti. Of course, y'all know I like confetti. I'm a confetti queen, I always say. Uh, it is sealed. It had 25 colors. And it did have the DMC numbers down the side. And on their website, on DP Clubs, it was $639, which is a good deal for a 45 by 35. I will provide a link down in the description box in case y'all decide y'all want it. And DP Clubs did give me a uh, discount code, 15% off. If you order, if my viewers order from them, and the code was GRANDMA15 with a capital G, which I will also put that in the description box for y'all. But anyway, I had to use a light pad on this, and it wouldn't be called, it was because the canvas was dark, but it didn't have anything to do with the canvas. It was just strictly because I wear glasses, I do have bifocals in my glasses, so that's one reason why I use the light pad because I um can't see very, I mean, I have trouble seeing when it's darker. If it was a lighter canvas, I wouldn't have any problem. But like I say, the stick was good, the drill was good. They went but one thing that I had a complaint about. Like I say, the canvas was good, the stick was good, was there was one certain color it was $7.96. Oh, this is my spare drills. And I had to use my spare drills on this because the drills that I got from them stuck together. And I could not. I shake I would shake it in my box, my Harbor Freight box and all that. And they were coming apart, but it was taking too long for me. So I just got my extra stash and I used what I had in my extra stash. Some I had, wasn't very many of them I had to use and I could have got them unstuck, but like I say, they were stuck together and you'd have to shake the box. I don't know what was wrong with them. That's the first time I'd ever got any like that, but it didn't affect the canvas. Like I say, I didn't have any issues with the canvas or any of the other drills. It was just that one certain color and they would have come unstuck. I mean, it wouldn't that, it was just, they would not come unstuck or anything. They would have come unstuck if I would sit there and had shook my Harbor Freight box long enough to get them all unstuck, but I was getting aggravated, so I used some out of my special drills. But like I said, it didn't affect the canvas at all, and to me, the most important thing is my canvas being sticky, no popping drills, uh, canvas is easy to read, I can deal with drills. But like I say, it was just that one color out of here, and I don't know what the deal was. I don't know. It had some static in it and all that. Some people I have seen on YouTube say put them in their freezer, that it will help. I don't know, but if y'all have any suggestions what to do with sticky uh, drills, I have even tried cutting a piece of a uh, dryer sheet, putting in there. I mean, if y'all have an idea that would help with sticky drills like that, let me know. I mean, like I say, it wasn't an issue to me, more or less. It's just I didn't want to sit there and shake the box, get them loose. It's just they stuck together. I had some in my extra stash, so I just used them. And there wasn't many of them in this painting, so it wasn't like it was a big issue to me. Now, it might be an issue to you, but I didn't think it was a problem to me. I dealt with it and went on. Wasn't a, it wasn't a good enough issue for to me not to purchase this. I'll put it that way. But like I said, I didn't have any trouble with the canvas. The stick was good, had plenty of drills. When anything, that was just the only thing that bothered. Well, it didn't really bother me. It aggravated me because I was trying to get through with it. 
yeah, I mean, once I start one, I like to get through with it, you know, so that was the only thing it was the issue with me. Like I say, the rest of it was not an issue. The drills wasn't enough issue to me for me to be complain complaining about it, I should say. But a lot of y'all are still asking me what I use to seal my diamond paintings. So I'm going to show y'all again. It is the Memwax Polyacrylic Water-Based. And I'll leave it clear gloss, and I'll leave it right here for a minute if you need to take a picture of it so y'all know what I use. Uh, I'll try to show it in some of my uh, finished videos for y'all because people are still asking me what I use. And I want y'all to be sure and know because this is some great stuff. I seal everything with it. It don't matter if it's a handbag, if it's a barrette, or what it is. This I use this to seal everything I do that's got diamond paintings on it. It's got diamond drills or whatever on it. This is what I use, and it's some good stuff. It's high. It's expensive. Like this can right here, like I said, was $17 at Walmart. Uh, you can buy a smaller can at $7. This will last you a while. I still got a good bit in there. Like I say, it don't take a whole lot, and I like it. It does not take away from the shine of your uh, painting, but I just wanted to show y'all that again. And I just want to say thanks for stopping by and checking out my one painting I got through. Like I say, this was a 45 by 35. And if you like what you see, hit the like button. If you would like to be one of my subscribers, I would love to have you as one of my subscribers. I love diamond painting. Diamond painting is my life. If you watch me long enough, y'all know how excited I get when I do diamond painting. I love doing my videos for y'all to see. And like I say, there she is. She's gorgeous. And I just want to say, come back and see me tomorrow. Bye.